in this video we are going to see about wide area networks uh, so the important topic here is and this is uh, uh, we use this uh, wide area network or uh, WAN WAN uh, over this LAN local area networks and because it cover more area compared to this LAN so for long distance communication we use this wide area network and this is a switched uh, data communication uh, network and here there are two types mainly two types uh, that is circuit switching packet switching and all and also the protocol used for this communication these are the very important topic comes under this ban so the key points comes under this ban first one is this is a switched communication network and the types of um, switching methods that is circuit switching and packet switching and the protocols x.25 and uh, frame relay and these are very important topics uh, we will see about each uh, point in uh, this video first of all this is a switched communication network so for uh, transmission of data beyond a local area communication is typically achieved by transmitting data from source to destination through a network of intermediate switching nodes this switching network is design design is typically used to implement lands as well the switching nodes are not concerned with the content of the data rather their purpose is to provide a switching facility that will move the data from one node to another node until they reach their destination so the network the device attached to the network that is referred as station here and the transmitting medium from one point to another point that is uh, done with the help of nodes so these are the very two important top uh, points uh, the, that is station and nodes so so consider this is a symbol switching network and here these are the station and this station may be computer or any network and these are the nodes okay so this nodes so some nodes connect only to other nodes and their sole uh, sole task is the internal switching of data other nodes have one or more station attached as well and in addition to their switching function such nodes accept data from and deliver data to the attached stations so some nodes connected to only other nodes it's these nodes are not connected to any station and uh, the task of this uh, solid um, connection that is uh, node to node connection is used to switch the data data alone but other uh, nodes that is connected to a station the function of that such nodes accept the data from and deliver the data to the attached station okay this is a difference between two types of that node so node station links are generally dedicated point to point links and node node links are usually multiplexed using either frequency division multiplexing or time division multiplexing so the node to node uh, node to node uh, links are multiplexed either frequency division multiplexing or time division multiplexing but this node to station links are generally dedicated point to point links and there are two different types of uh, technologies for wide area switched end network one is circuit switching and packet switching So we just to see the difference between two types of uh, switching method that is circuit switching and packet switching and in circuit switching the dedicated path is available for sending a data so the entire once the call accept signal is uh, at um, get hit this point at this point the entire path is dedicated to that uh, single data that for user data so there is a dedicated path from uh, it's, uh, this uh, signal uh, input to destination but in packet switching there is there are no dedicated path to each packet because the entire data is uh, separated as each uh, datagram or uh, each packet and this packet are treated as individual data so there are um, there is no dedicated path to each uh, data and uh, when this uh, signal accept packet is uh, received it send uh, start to send the each packet individually so at that time it will send 
one pocket and uh, there are some algorithm to find the uh, shattered path and everything and uh, how to reach the destination in fast manner so based using that algorithm it reaches its destination so this is virtual circuit packet switching here the, there are two types in packet switching virtual circuit packet switching and also datagram packet switching the difference between these two type of packet switching here we need a call request signal and also call accept signal and this is similar to this circuit switching but here this is considered separated packet the entire data is uh, treated as a separated packet to reduce the time delay so here this virtual circuit packet switching it still record the call record signal and also the call accept signal but uh, here datagram packet switching there is no need for this call request and call accept signal it send each packet and this is very uh, efficient for short term messages and all this communication short term communication this datagram packet switching is very efficient but for long uh, long uh, long message or a uh, long time communication this is not inefficient because uh, uh, due to this um, absence of this call request and call accept the loss of data is high here so compared to this datagram packet switching the virtual circuit packet switching is efficient for uh, long um, data communication so this is a basic differentiation between two types of uh, uh, circuit switching packet switching and under the packet switching we have two different types datagram packet switching and also virtual circuit packet switching so the main concept here is dedicated transmission path is available in switching um, circuit switching and here there is no dedicated path um, similarly overload increases packet delay because it requires both uh, the circuit switching and um, um, virtual circuit switching record the accept uh, call signal and also the request call signal so the delay is high compared to this datagram packet switching and you just go through this uh, table it will uh, provide the differentiation between each switching method and very important topic under this ban you can expect question from this two protocol that is x.25 and also the frame relay and we will see the uh, related uh, 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 related questions uh, for this uh, x.25 and frame relay in our next video so this is this x.25 and also frame relay these two topics are very important in this man concept so this is the itu tip standard that specify the interface between host system and packet switching network so this x.25 the functionality of this X.25 is specified on three levels and basically this X.25 performed in uh, last three levels of three layers of uh, OAC layer. There is a physical layer, data link layer and also network layer. So that is represented here is physical level, link level and packet level. So the physical level deals with the physical interface between an attached station and the link that attached that station to the packet switching node that is node to station network so the physical level deals with that connection the type of encoding and physical medium that is defined in this level physical level okay so basically there is one standard you know, that is known as x.21 and that is similar to eia232 and uh, these are the physical medium transmitting medium between one point to another point and here the connection is station to node so here the standard using using for the specification is x.21 and also in link level that is data link layer the standard that is link access protocol balanced or, or uh, link access procedure balanced that is LAPB and uh, this is similar to HTLC and we discuss about this HTLC in our previous video so this is a subset of this HTLC Okay, and this is uh, mainly used to control the access uh, the function of the data link layer that is uh, flow control uh, error control all things is uh, happen in this level so this is link level and last one is packet level that is network level provides a virtual circuit service 
and this service enables any subscriber to the network to set up logical connection called with virtual circuit to other subscriber so basically three levels physical level link level and packet level and this resemble the layers of osi model that is physical link layer data link layer and network layer so once this user data comes to this x.25 layer layer 3 header is attached and this is attached uh, in um, at this uh, layer 3 header is attached and this will form a x.25 packet and after that the lapb header and also trailer is attached and the function of this layer mainly used to identify the virtual circuit number identifying by number a particular virtual circuit with which is the, this data is to be associated and providing sequence number that can be used for flow and error control on the virtual circuit basis and for this two types this header and trailer are attached to the user data and the entire x.25 packet is then passed down to the lapb entity which appends control information at the front and back of the packet forming LAPB frame. Again, the control information in the frame is needed for the operation of the LAPB protocol. So this is the two main function of this X.25. And next one is frame delay. And frame delay is also uh, uh, similar to this X.25, but it's more efficient compared to this x.25 the standards for frame delay matured earlier than the those for atm and commercial uh, product also arrived earlier that is atm is asynchronous transfer mode here and this is a transfer mode associated with this van the mode of uh, transmission here is asynchronous transmission mode that is known as atm so this is the advanced version of this x.25 so the uh, basically this frame delay is designed to eliminate overhead that x.25 imposes on end user system and on the packet switching network so the key differences between this frame delay and x.25 packet switching service has are as follows one is call control signaling which is information needed to set up and manage a connection and multiplexing and uh, here there is carried on a separate logical connection from user data Thus, intermediate nodes need not maintain state tables or process ma messages relating to call control on an individual per connection basis. And here, the call controlling signal carried on a separate logical connection from user data. Separate logical connection here in frame, de uh, frame delay, we use separate logical connection for call control signaling. And this will use to uh, eliminate the uh, state table and it will use to uh, increase the quality uh, it is used to eliminate the overhead at the end user so the delay is reduced here and also multiplexing and switching of the logical connection takes place at layer 2 instead of layer 3 eliminating one entire layer of processing and next one is there is no half by half flow control and this is very important and there is no half by half flow control and error control end to end flow control and error control or the responsibility of the higher layer if they are employed at all so there is no halfway half flow control and error control end-to-end -end flow control and error control only um, available in frame relay and these are the three important difference between this frame relay and x.25 packet switching services and this is a pictorial representation of frame relay user network interface protocol architecture and here we use two different plane control plane and user plane and this uh, user plane and control plane having different layer and this is controlled so the, the advantage of frame relay is that we have streamlined the communication process the protocol functionality record at the user network interface is reduced as it is the internal network processing as a result, lower delay and higher throughput can be expected. So, we use control plane and user plane. And uh, 
here the streamlined uh, communication so between this user and network and basically this is advantage of this frame relay because um, each and every layer is uh, dedicated for this uh, uh, each function so separate uh, levels are used here for each function so this is used to re reduce the delay and also it used for higher throughput and this is main advantage of frame delay over x.25 and you can see uh, that is uh, the frame relay having control plane and user plane so each operation so consider this control plane uh, and this is at the data link layer this q.921 is used to provide a label data link control services with the rf control and flow control between user te and network terminal that is user data uh, user terminal and the network terminal and this data link services are used for exchange of q point uh, 933 control signaling messages so each operation is performed uh, by different uh, layer of uh, this control plane and user plane so it used to reduce the delay and also it uh, it will provide high throughput so this is the main advantage of this frame relay